the amount of children that are on that street, <coughs> elderly walking their dogs. Um, I'm, I'm just terrified, absolutely terrified. Mindy Estrada lives on Summit Drive in Sydney. She says speeding along her street has become such an issue that it's not a matter of if someone gets hurt, it's a matter of when. My, my children are not allowed in the front yard. We do not sit in our front living room because I swear a vehicle is going to end up in, the front, in our front living room. Tuesday night, Estrada proposed to the city council installing a pair of stop signs along her street, one at the intersection of Summit Drive and Verde Lane, the other at the Alvarado Road intersection. City officials weren't optimistic on going that route. Just months ago, the city was told a busier intersection in town didn't meet the criteria for having a stop sign or traffic light installed. Another solution proposed was speed bumps, but that presented obstacles of its own. And the other one is 66 percent of the residents around there had to sign off that they wanted it. Now that was just to get a request. Sydney Street Superintendent Hank Ratke says another requirement is having 1,000 cars take the road daily on average. Officials aren't confident that would be met. Then they got to do an engineer study just like we would have to hire an engineer to do a study on it. Three years ago, Estrada made another trip to City Council, which resulted in them putting a permanent speed limit sign in the area. For now, while the search for a solution continues, the city plans to start with more enforcement in the area. See where we can get with that, and then short of that, uh, pulling more of that community together to see what their thoughts are and have uh, ideas for plans and stuff as well. Reporting in Sydney for News Channel Nebraska, I'm Alec Chisholm.